Good morning, everyone. Srifko. Today we're playing some more Pokemon Reborn, and I've switched up my team a little bit, getting ready for our next uh, gym. This might seem like a weird team to bring to the bug gym. We'll get to that later. For now, uh, we're going to go join a gang. You know, like you do. I'm going to poke my head over here quick. Uh, this is just to set the point so that if I do need to come back here, it's easy. We're looking for an alley up here. There it is. Okay. Hey, buddy, this is Aqua Gang territory. You should probably just shuffle on out. You and the gang? I don't think so, but wait a minute. What do you guys, what do you say? You want to join us? Yes. Get your Pokemon ready. It's a battle. You didn't think we were just going to let you in without seeing what you got first, did you? Yeah, bring it on. I was not planning on fighting them, so that's okay. Hopefully we'll be able to have a good lead off here still. By the way, this next section is going to be Kylo's time to shine because it is raining and we are fighting a water force. Um, Kylo is very good at that. Not evolving Bright Jukeya. But we will be evolving both of these soon. Ooh, should have doubled. Uh, should have gone double at it. That's okay. Hopefully. Yeah. We'll go ahead and bring Mark in. didn't mention Mark did get uh, did evolve while I was leveling up Carvana and Carvana okay easy enough uh, Carvana is dark type which means that Mark is super effective with fighting moves perfect welcome to the gang Wicked. We're gonna have a huge advantage with you around. One thing at a time, Squirt. You should go introduce yourself to the boss man. Tell him you got in A-OK. -okay. okay, we're gonna go heal quick, just because I think we're gonna get into another fight here. So, we had the option of joining uh, Team Aqua. Is it Team Magma is the other one? Something like that. Um, we're going with this one because whatever we pick, we have to fight the opposite. 
And right now, I felt like we had a better shot fighting against... Wait, that doesn't make sense. Oh well. Too late. The end goal is we're getting a water stone out of this. That, that's the actual reason. New recruit, huh? Welcome to the variably sub superior group. We have Torment. It is raining. Decided to join the Aqua Gang? Excellent choice. Introductions. You've passed the test. You already me met Manny and Razzy. Over there is de facto. The other one is Pierce. He doesn't talk much. Let me tell you a little about our operation here. You already know how messed up this city is, so our little family just helps each other out. We just work to get in an extra edge in our lives. Some people have little more than what they really need around here. We fix that problem. Some time ago, we were in Saviors of the City, but everything changed when the Magma Gang attacked. Uh, they moved in around here, and now they're pilfering our targets and depriving us of our rep. But now we have you. They're going to be outnumbered. Let's time to take our title back. So here's the scoop. We've got a gig. A few of us are going to meet, uh, be meeting in an old shack at 4th and Hydrangea. If you want in, we'd love to have you. We're going to need all the help we can get. and Hydrangea. Manny and Razzy have appropriated guardian sh um, guardianship of headquarters during this operation, meaning it's just the four of us. Magma Gang's got their eye on a certain rare Pokemon owned by one of what Lapis's wealthiest residents. Knowing them, they'll probably try to frame us when they steal it, so we have to bust in there and stop that from happening. Comes down to it, we'll take the Pokemon ourselves. Before mentioned target is... Ms. Ignosia Crodberry. I believe the proper word to describe her would be spinster, or hag, or putrid witch who called the city police on me just because I looked at her for more than a millisecond while passing by on the street. Wretched old lady if you know her. Actually, she's wretched even if you don't know her, but you've got the better end of the bargain. Nobody cares. I'm simply informing our newest intendant of the content of her character. Our reputation and our safety are at stake here. Let's move out and put an end to Magma's schemes. Meet us there, Rafe. We'll be waiting. Think she was over here? There we go. Aqua scum, my manliness shall stop you. More Darumakas, okay. Not complaining. <laughs> Definitely not complaining. Houndor. I think we just stay in here. Bubble beam away. Oh, nice. I like how they use the Pokemon to like show where the fights are happening in this one. It's a really minor thing, but it is something that really 
helps compared to the 2D games. is good but slow. Kylo is fast. Evacuate swiftly. We'll meet you back at base. Okay. So we have joined a gang and stolen a Pokemon. The real reason we're doing this is partially because it's one of the side quests we can do. Uh, you can actually join either gang. You get different stuff from each one. And given where we're at and what we're doing, this is why this is important to do before the gym. Because sometimes you just need a stronger pineapple duck in your life. Yep, I said it. You can see here, Kylo's special attack is now through the roof. And with Swift Swim, Speed stat is doubled during the rain. Uh, just as a comparison here, like, yeah, Dynamite's attack is about the same, but it is much slower as a base level. Because our speed's effectively 160. Presence was crucial in our victory. If you'd like to keep the Pokemon we acquired, consider it your payoff. They're going to be hurting after a loss like that. We're going to take some time and think of our next move. We'll check again soon. Or check in again soon. So, so far it's a quick little thing. We will have more as we go. ahead and see if I've got a few more medium candies here. We're gonna see if I can finish leveling Bright Juke. And Bright Juke is going to learn Power Jet. And then evolve! Ampharos. Oop. Uh, no Thunder Punch. Oops. Did not want to use that, but oh well. Uh, let's go ahead and use it, the last one on Mark. I wish we had gotten two to use on Mark, but that's okay. What does punishment do? The more the target is powered up, the greater this move's power. <laughs> that's kind of cool. Um, Actually, yeah, I'll go Rage. Rage isn't great. Okay. 
so I'm going to take a moment here to talk about my grand strategy, which is really not that grand. Um, so first thing is Kylo. The opposing team that we're going to be fighting against, or the, we're going to be fighting against bug types. It is a bug type gym, but it is going to be rain as the weather and forest as the terrain, which means Kylo is super powerful in that environment. So that's our starting point is see how far Kylo can get. Second thing is going to be Fry 2K. Um, bugs are weak against rock. So, Power Gem was one of the easiest rock type moves for me to get my hands on but within the level cap. So, I've been planning this basically since we started training uh, Bright 2K. Um, 80 power move, very strong. And electric type should be good against, should be resistant to water and also neutral against bug. If things get out of control, that's why Nick's here. I believe there are a few, like, things that are going to be more grass oriented, so getting an ice attack in there could be good. But the more important thing is straight up snow warning. Uh, their team is built to take advantage of the rain. Once we lose Kylo, if we lose Kylo, it's a bug team. He's a grass type. It's possible. If he doesn't one shot things, it's possible. And Nick is going to be able to shut down their rain and give me that terrain advantage or that uh, weather advantage. Mark. Defiant. Raises attack when its foe lowers stats. You recall from earlier, one of the most common bug type moves, uh, and specifically one that is charged up by forest, um, lowers special attack. So if the opposing team is using that, I think there's also something that uses intimidate in, on their team. So having defiant here means that Mark if, there's, if they keep trying to lower my stats, I switch Mark in, and it stops them in their tracks. Simple enough. And at long last, we have Dynamite and Mr. Ed. They are bug types. We have some fire types. Um, we can't take full advantage of our fire types in the rain. However, if we make it hail, all Nick is here to do is enable Dynamite and Mr. Ed to do their thing. Uh, specifically, you can't get rid of the forest terrain while it's raining. But once it starts hailing, Lava Plume should burn the forest down and completely shut down their advance. So that's my goal. That's my plan. It's a weird team, but I'm hoping it'll work. I just realized that we're not healed after all of that. So yeah, I wanted to get the water stone first so that Kylo would be as powerful as possible before we go into the gym. Oh. After that, <laughs> okay. We have to fight Cal, uh, who's the guy who is big brothering all over the place. It's like a fire type trainer. Oh, it's a rainbow. That's nice. Bubble Bee.
Bag Mortar. Bubble Bee. Oh, that thing's tough. That's fair. Mark gets a level. Awesome. Charmeleon. Ugh. I'm just keeping Mark in for now, I guess. We're just gonna go for some cross chops. Wow. That was a one shot. I know uh, I could bring Bright 2K in, but he's the highest level. I'm trying to get some XP while we can. I wasn't even thinking about Mr. Ed. He's honestly probably the best here because he resists fire. I was not expecting that. Not complaining. Did he just evolve mid-battle? That's weird. Usually that's at the end of battles. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, Rock Slide is a physical move, which Mr. Ed isn't great with, but it is good. Rainbow Charged! Aurora Beam! What just happened? Apparently, Camerupt has a different move. Saw the commotion! The gym is closed! Shelly's been traumatized by watching a man drop off the bridge and splat in front of her. That wasn't enough. The second she tries to get back on the horse, some chump shows up, calls her a bunch of names in the middle of a match. She's on the verge of tears, and then he just hammers it home until she's not even trying anymore. The worst part is, he gets to walk away with a badge because there's no league exception for emotional manipulation. Oh, that's what this is about. That's actually why we're here. Yeah, we saw that guy on his way out. He was gloating. We wanted to check in. <laughs> I just about got as teamed as you are, but I'm a bit better at keeping calm. And then Rafe gave him a wallabing. So in a way, justice is served. We came by to check on Shelly and make sure she was okay. I see. Come on in, I guess. At least his heart's in the right place. We'll heal one more time. Okay, real quick though, anger point. Being critically hit maximizes attack. Okay. So, if Mr. Ed gets crit, that rock slide we just picked up is basically a one hit kill. All of his other moves are special, so yeah. So we're going to save, um, I don't have any healing items. Let's run over to the Pokemart quick and just pick up a couple. Super potions. There's another kid here too, got her here around the same time. At least he had some decency. Oh, it's Kane. Okay. I almost got arrested before. 
but I gave him puppy dog eyes and charmed my way out of it. Sounds like it was worth it. More challengers? Not if you're not up to it. We met your, that last guy and the way he treated you was far from okay. I'm so sorry. Are you alright? I'm, I'm fine. She's just kind of been curled up here since. I couldn't believe the way Fern talked to her, like the second she showed any sign of weakness. No hesitation. Absolutely disgusting. Alright, I get that we're all friends here. We all gotta be crowding in here right now. Is this necessary? Sorry, I'm just concerned. Come to think of it, why are you here, Kane? <laughs> are you looking to challenge as well? At some point, sure. Well, mainly I was looking for a girl named Heather. She said she was friends with... Oh no. No, 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 no. That man was... That was Heather's. I'm, I'm going to... I'll find a wreck. I didn't realize she saw everything. I'm so sorry. I'm just gonna go for now. I can't believe she knew the guy too. What are the odds? Well, Victoria's cleaning her up and taking care of her now. I wish there was something I could do. How does anyone expect a kid to deal with all this? She's stressed to the point of getting sick. You think she needs a doctor? There's one nearby, right? I saw the sign for it in this ward. Dr. Connor or whatever. Would you mind going and ask and see if he'll talk to Shelly? Maybe that's just what she needs after all. I don't have a good feeling about this. Orphanage and psychiatric treatment facilities are generally not super well portrayed in media. Oh, forgot we can do one more thing here quick. Wait a second, that's the one! That's the one, officer! I beg your pardon? That's the one who stole my Pokémon! Rafe, I'm sorry, you must be mistaken. Rafe would never do something like that. He even rescued me when I was locked in a cage in Red Green Jungle. He rescued the rest of the police force, too. I'm sorry, you, but you've got the wrong guy. You know what I saw? Uh-huh. Sorry, there's no way I can incriminate Rafe just because they happened to walk through the door when you were raving. You calling me a liar? How dare you insinuate such a thing, you ungrateful, wretched bum? I want to talk to your superior. I'm going to write a letter. Then you'll all be fired. You'll starve to death. God, what has the city gone to? No wonder things are blowing up here, there, and everywhere. The authorities are a bunch of common crooks. Scum, vile snakes. Boy, one of the others insisted on trying straws to see who had to take this case. Sorry about that, that woman is nuts. I don't... You're really not a suspect. I never did properly thank you for saving me before. I want you to have this. My brother works at the cycle shop up here and he gave this, uh, gave us that for a present for my little girl, but she didn't survive the whole mess in barrel. She was reading in a room when the plants broke through and... Never mind. I don't want to think about that. Just please take this off me. Sorry. Wow. Okay. And we get a bite. Well, I mean, I guess... Oh, um, excuse me, I was just leaving. Oh, you're not Laura. Did you see her? She just left. Who are you? Why are you all glowy? Nobody's glowing, Anna. But that person clearly is. Don't forget it. Let me introduce you to everybody. So, I'm Anna. This is Jirachi, Nostra. My twin brother, Noel. And his Clef and Nomos. Nomos and Nostra are just dolls. But hi. Nomos says hi, I guess. And don't lie, they're not just dolls. They're important magical guardians our parents left for us. I have my pennant, they're all we have left, so stop being ridiculous. 
We want to talk. Anyway, that's my friend Charlotte. She's actually really pretty, but you just have to see through the burn scars. Anna, for the last time, I don't have any scars. She's not lying, Anna. But, oh right. I'm sorry, I'm so insensitive. I won't talk about them anymore. I was just saying you're pretty. There's nothing to not talk about. Never mind. Bye. That's my sister, Laura. She's one of the Reborn's Elite Four. Okay. Awesome kind of runs in our family. No big deal. Might as well help me mention how Anna... Yeah, Laura's so cool. Charlotte and Noelle are also gym leaders. Oh. Okay. Anna. I'm gonna... Go I'm gonna miss Laura, but I'm glad she's finally getting out. I felt like I'd never see the day. See, we're all stuck here until we turn 18 or the good doctor finally decides to let us go. So basically forever. The doctor is scary. He has really strong electric type Pokemon that he uses in his therapy. It hurts. Nasha says he thinks his past patients have died. I think so too, because when you're around him, if you listen carefully, you can hear a voice. What are you here for? Someone you know needs help? That's terrible, but don't bring her here. That'll only make her worse. Okay. I was right to wonder at the noises. Greetings. I'm Dr. Sigmund, Sigmund Connell, but you may refer to me simply as Doctor. How can I help you? Rafe just heard there were gym leaders here and came by because of that. Yep, that's it. Nothing else. Is that all? Well then. Indeed, there are some particularly gifted individuals in our care. Several of them are were able to inherit or earn high-ranking positions. You must have some degree of confidence in your skill as well. Orderly John, please conduct a brief examination of this challenger. Begin. Yeah, I was pretty spot on there. This place is terrifying. Magneton. Fighting versus Steel. Electric. I mean, I guess Mr. Ed. Can't remember if that's got levitate. Yeah, that's unfortunate. The lava plume is. Most impressive. I'm afraid I cannot permit a proper battle with my clients at this time. We're currently renovating our arena. Intense conflict with official stakes is a common precipitating factor for non-participating clients effects. Incredible, but it can't be helped. You'll have to wait until a different time. That's too bad. Guess Rafe will have to be leaving now. You seem to be quite eager to dismiss him. No, me? No, why would I be? Ha <laughs> ha. We have to have another discussion about manipulating others based on your hallucinations. Right. Why don't you tell me why you're really here? The Lapis Ward gym leader, then. I see. I can schedule a quick evaluation. I have several other matters that require my immediate attention, but I will call on her a bit later. Thank you for letting me know. Nostra told me to tell you to tell her. Rather than feeling sad herself, she should think about helping the one who's most hurt by what happened. If she does that, she won't have time to feel bad. What are you whispering about? Nothing. Bye, Rafe. Okay. That was weird. And scary. Oh, you're back. Any news? A doctor will come by later? That's probably best. Am I sick? Oh no, honey, not sick. We just want to make sure you're holding up okay. 
you have a message for her? Help the one who's hurt most. That's right. What am I even complaining about? Heather's the one who lost her dad. I need to find her. Whoa, no, honey. We need you to rest and stay here. No, no, I think I'd rather be doing something rather than sitting here and dwelling on it. I'll, I'll call Heather. We have a signal. If I use my Pokemon and send an air slash up into the sky, she should come by if she sees it. I'll send the signal out and then... Brave, you're a League Challenger, right? You don't have a gym battle? You sure you're up to that? Last one didn't exactly go too hot. I guess at least Rafe isn't going to be a jerk about it. I'm sure it'll be a good distraction while we wait. Awesome. Oh, we still have to do the whole evaluation area. I wasn't even thinking about fighting other trainers. I was thinking we were going to have one more fight. So we're going to end this video. Hopefully you're still enjoying. If you are, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you'd like a Pokemon named after you, make sure to check the form in my description. And as always, have a good one. We'll catch you next time.